It's already midnight and Jungkook was working overtime, checking some files of clients. He was so busy with work that he didn't even realize that it was already midnight. Suddenly his phone rang making him flinch. He saw the caller ID and a smile crept on his lips. He put the call on speaker and started doing his work. So, I was assuming right. You are missing me so much that you can't able to fall asleep. He spoke softly hearing a soft giggle from the other side making his heartbeat increase million times. Oh, how well you know me Mr. John. He relaxed on the chair and let out a soft sigh before closing his eyes. I badly wants to be with you. I need to charge myself. You chuckle and shook your head on your wincy husband. Don't say it like this. I just call you to wish you good night. I'm going to sleep. Now you say this. I know I can't able to focus. I'm coming home my wifey. He closed the laptop and walked out grabbing his coat. You hummed in response knowing so well that even if you said him to finish his work, he still won't listen to you and you also want him. You opened the door and leaned on it smiling at your husband who was looking tired by late hour work. His loose and tie messy hair tied yet lovable eyes on you. His red lips which were flashing the most beautiful and warm smile. The upper two button of his black shirt were open which were giving him breath taking look. Are you planning to keep staring at me till the sunrise? I plan to stare at you till my last breath. He laughed, he leaned in lower and peeked your lips with a smile. You miss me? You nodded, tried to say anything as it was around 1 p.m. and you never stay awake this late at night. You should have called me instead of waking up late at night. You rubbed his hair and smiled. Come inside and get fresh up. You even had meeting early in the morning. You are joining for tomorrow, right? Yes, my boss never give me long leave. Mean. He smiled and left you in a bridal smile. You smiled and kissed his jaw. He is not mean. Maybe it's hard for him to live away from you. After all, you are his heartbeat. You had your dinner. He nodded, closing the door. I even do my dinner and also had my medicine. Good boy. You said part in his back on which he chuckled. So finally, you are joining again. I feel so lonely without you. Focus on your project, not on me. You put your phone on silent and again focus on the files. Give these files to Mr. John. You said to your secretary. But the president said if you want to give him anything, go by yourself. You looked at her but she shrugged her shoulder. Okay, I will go there later. You say and again got busy with the work. You were so lost in your work that you didn't even realize the time. You finish your work and grab your stuff and files leaving towards the Jungkook's room. It was too late and little do you know he might be angry with you. Here are the files you asked for and I even completed them. He rolled his eyes while you Squeeze your eyes in confusion. Well, if you finish your work, then let's go. I'm hungry. I still had some work left. He said in the most annoyed voice you ever heard from his mouth. What? Why are you looking annoyed? I'm not. You signed and sat on the table in front of him. You know you can't hide your expression from me. Why you even try? He again looked at his laptop, but you closed it and looked at him. Why are you doing this? Did I do something wrong? You said with a tearful eyes, but his expression doesn't change. This is how I feel when you ignore me later. You looked at him confused. When did I and why did I ignore you? Why didn't you come when I called you? Dad, yeah, I was busy with some files. Work is more important for you than me. You smile as he start acting like a child. Nothing is more important than you, my hubby. That's why I finish my work as soon as possible to spend time with you. He parted while you kissed his forehead. Let's go on a date to light up your mood. You always persuade me by your cuteness. You smile cutely. Let's go. I'm so hungry. Before that, can I get something? 
to forgive you, I mean a reward to be a good husband all the time. You smiled and looked at him. We are in the office. So what? Everyone knows that we are married and it's normal between couples. You sure? He nodded. You leaned to kiss him but suddenly someone opened the door. You smiled pressing your lips tightly while he looked towards the door signing an angle. What is it, Taemin? Why do you always put your leg in my happiness? He called his secretary but Taemin smiled nervously. I just come to tell you that I'm leaving. That's all. Have a good day and bye. He said and ran out closing the door before Jungkook again called him for ruining his beautiful moment with such a stupid thing. He looks at you and you smile. Let's go. I will set your bad mood at home. He shook and raised his brows thinking unholy. Don't think this way. You dirty mind. You walked and he follow you grabbing his coat. Wrapping your small body with a towel, Jungkook made you sit on the counter. He started dyeing your hairs with the towel while you you were busy in admiring his beauty, with droplets on his shoulder and water dripping from his hair. If you keep staring at me like this, then how am I going to focus my rollock on me? He then stopped and looked at you. Why behaving so irritated? Did something happen in the office? Do someone say you hurtful words? Yeah, there is nothing like this. I'm just worried about mom. His eyes frown in confusion. We are going to have dinner and she again going to thank me for don't know for what. I really feel uncomfortable at that time, Jungkook. Mal knowing why you are sad. Jungkook, I do not behave good at di- family dinner every time. And who the heck told you all this now? You pointed and looked at him like you were about to cry. No one just my inner soul say it. Don't you think these days your inner soul start assuming a lot of things? You climbed down from the counter but he again made you sit there. Where are you going? Let me go. You always need a topic to pull me down. I pull you down or you. Whatever it is, I am hurt and I need to go and hear some sad music. He smiled and kissed the top of your forehead. Look why it My mom is a little emotional type of woman but she loves me a lot and what am I today is because of you so directly or indirectly she is pointing to you saying thank you again and again because you deserve it she loves you and respect you more than anyone okay but if you still feel uncomfortable i will tell her to stop got it but still if you say no to her directly she will feel bad then Let's focus on the dinner instead of her. Got it? He said, picking your lips while you just nodded. You still didn't get it. Let me tell you properly. He said and kissed you, but you pushed him slightly. I said I got it. Just focus on dinner, not on her. Suddenly you sneezed two or three times in a row, making him smile nervously. I think I should have let you wear the clothes, or else you will catch a cold. You are so fragile. You got a- and pinched his nose. Okay, mommy, son. You were about to leave but he grab your hand and pull you to him your head directly hits his chest but if you still feel uncomfortable then we can go on a date after that You smile and nod it you don't have to do anything i will prepare everything you just have to show up on time okay my boss now let me go and wear my clothes You were about to leave but he again stop you you narrow your eyes and look at him what Speaking of son, how about having a son? You smile shyly. He come closer to kiss you, but you push him away and stand a little distance. I like daughter very much too. If you want, stop it, you dirty mind. You run to open the door, but he was fast enough to catch you and pick you in a bridal style. Let's finish our main business first, then you can wear your clothes. You hit his arm to get free, but instead he laugh and walk towards the bed. They all laughed at you while you put your spoon down and looked at them and potted. Mom, you always take his side because he is your son. Jungkook scoffed and looked at you, stuffing his mouth with food. It's very rare sh- when she takes my side, and now when she is finally with me, then what with your pot, huh? You rolled your eyes because I never do anything which needs a scold, and you are always troublemaker. He scoffed and looked at you. Really, hiding my everything, credit card, tie, and even important files of office—is it really something innocent? It's because you are a 
jerk you muttered the last word i love to see you both grilling it will be great if you both had kids you gulp and looked at jungkook with your wide eyes he shrimped and turned to his mom you are so right mom but it is not something i can do on my own a small chuckle left her mouth as your face turned red but we are trying mom you will be grandmother soon yeah what are you talking and mom don't take his side i am not taking anyone's side i just said what i felt well soon we will give you happy news mom are you crazy is there something to talk loud what after everyone going to know you scoff annoyingly but dad is here too so he also knows everything too you can talk like this in front of mom but not with dad why he knows everything right dad he said looking at his dad who cleared his throat and nodded multiple times feeling all nervous and acting fool Mrs. John smiled, pressing his lips together, and you hide your face, embarrassed. I-, I think I need to sleep because I think I should go now. He left there in hurry. It's so embarrassing. You took a deep breath, spreading your arms wide open. Jungkook smiled and stood next to you. You both took a leave as the project you were working on getting complete. You like this place? You nodded and turned to him. All the stress and depression of the work just disappear looking at this beauty. What's the need for this beauty when you had me? You chuckle and wrap your arm around him. This place is looking more beautiful because I am seeing this with you, Mr. Husband. I can take you here every day if you want because I like the smile on your lips. No need special things look more special when we saw them really, not always. Keep talking like this. I feel so good when you talk non-stop. Wrap your arm around his waist as you both sit on the soft grass. You smile and nod. Jungkook, don't give me too much work. I can't do overwork. He looked at you with his narrow eyes. Mrs. Wifey, don't you think I'm too nice to you when I made you work overtime, huh? You laughed and rubbed his hair. I'm just kidding because I like your annoying face. You better not to annoy me or else I will get angry with you. I'm sorry my hubby. Let's enjoy the silence for some more minutes after that we had to go back to the office. He nodded. He rested his head on your lap and closed his eyes while your hand slowly moves in his hair. Jungkook called his name softly and in response he just hummed. I asked my parents to join the party too. You don't have to ask my permission for such a small thing. I will be happy if they also join us. You smiled and nodded. Jungkook, thank you. He opened his eyes, seeing your rosy lips smiling at him. It's not the way to say thank you. Your eyes fawn in confusion. He grabbed the back of your neck and pulls you in a deep kiss. He broke the kiss and looked into your eyes. I love taking care of you. Giving is more beautiful than taking or demanding. You are really feeling proud after putting us down to them and crushing our dreams. I didn't do anything wrong. You told me that I will regret it, but look, as I said, I had nothing to regret now. She looked away as her blood was boiling in anger. Why would you? After all, our happiness doesn't matter to you. You might hate us, but what we were doing was for your sake. She was so angry with you, but still, you are so calm and silent. If you ask me to get in a competition with him and win that cheer. Then I will put my sweated blood to get that position. But what you did forced me to betray the person who is going to be with me my whole life. Umma, never thought I will hate you and Appa ever. Because if you never force me into this marriage, then how can I get Jungkook? She looked away from your face. You think you could able to get things back by talking all nice to me? You won't trap us again. You smile and nod it. Maybe never. Well, our company threw a party to celebrate this grand success. Hope you see it there. She folded her hand back and looked away. You just smiled slightly and put the invitation on the table. I know you are happy for me and not going to show on your face. I will be happy if you also join us. Today is a great day for every small and big employee of the John Company. 
as the dream of their making partnership with the most famous designer company comes true the work is started by yin and jungkook take that to the end Suddenly the chaotic environment went silent and there was a sudden murmur at the party. Everyone's gaze went towards the entrance while the photographers also moved the camera in their direction. A couple took their entry both wearing red look like the happiest and the best couple in the world. Their entry took the eyes of every person present at the party. Soon the reporters surrounded them and start asking questions. You smile nervously as attending the parties is not your cup of tea. You always avoid the place where you become the center of attraction. Chunko caught your nervousness. He wrapped his arm around your waist and pulls you closer to him. You looked at him with your wide eyes while he just smiled. You both are looking so gorgeous in this red theme. Chunko looked at you and smiled. Thank you all. As we all know this partnership is so important for both companies but we heard that you do so much hard work to get this and also trying for so long not only me but every member of our company do the hard work for the project and they all deserve equal credit is it true that this is all your wife's plan as she leads the company alone for so long jungkook looked at you while you were giving him the same smile which make his heart fitter There was silence only slow music could be heard and the sound of the cameras you were lost in his eyes as he was staring in your soul through them he slowly leans and kisses your cheeks she is the most beautiful thing that happened to me until now and in the future too she continue to be my special person in my life and yes it is all her hard work and idea and even if it is not then she also deserve the biggest part of the credit because what am i today how am i today is all because of her you look down blushing as he confess all these things looking into your eyes which make everyone smile at both of your cuteness we hope you both enjoy the party they say and keep aside to give you both space to enjoy the party Jungkook pulled the chair for you like a real gentleman and sat next to you. Like to have a drink, Miss Gorgeous? You smile as he wink at you. Trying to flirt. Remember, Mr. John, you are already married, and I am hard to get. He looked around and leaned closer to your face. Well, one night is also okay for me. My wife won't mind that. You raised your brows and scoffed. It means you are cheating on your wife. He shrugged with his shoulder and pretended like thinking something. She knows me better. She will understand that I can't resist your hotness. You bite your lower lip, controlling your smile, seeing how good your husband is at flattering. But after a one night stand, would you be able to control your feelings? No. After that, I will make you mine again, no matter what. He said, looking into your eyes and making sure his every word. Because little do I know that after that you also can't be able to resist me. The more you see me, the more you want. We are about to answer him back by the MC speak. Can I have all of your attention please? Everyone looked at the MC who was standing on the stage holding the mic. As we all know this is the success of two companies at the global level. All the hard work paid off, but despite of that, we had two cute couples here. Everyone looked at Jungkook and Yoo. Your cheeks turned red because of shyness. As we know that our president and vice president both are married couples and after so long they both are working together in the absence of our president Ms John Wyan handled everything alone so well and so beautifully today i'm requesting you both to come on stage and perform a dance to make this moment more cheerful it will be a pleasure for us it's a request please Jungkook looked at you and your face was all red in shyness Would you like to dance with me Mrs. John? Everyone start cheering for you both. You hide your face while he chuckle at your cuteness. A slow romantic song start playing and he asks for your hand. Why in? He called you softly making his voice go down in your body touching every internal part of yours. You looked at him and put your hand in his while he leads you to the stage. Once you got to the stage he wrap his one arm around your waist. and the other held your hand you put your hand on his shoulder and start moving with the rhythm he 
He looked at him with love and desire, while the depth of love in his eyes is unreachable. There is no more chaos as you both get lost in each other's eyes. Jungkook, you called his name softly while he hummed in response. Jungkook, I have something to confess to you. What? If you are going to confess your love again, then don't do it because it's already shown in your eyes. You chuckled and shook your head. There is no point I am going to confess my love because no matter how many times I say I love you, I can never reach the depth of your love you are in. You are hating the environment. I haven't even started. What is it? What do you want to confess then? You took a deep breath and looked in his eyes. Jungkook, you give me so much and I will never be able to repay you for them. I didn't give you anything. All the precious thing we had is all by you. Let me finish. He laughed and nodded. Go on. But what you give me this time is precious than anything. His eyes shone in confusion as he was getting clues about what you are saying. First, I never want to marry you and now I feel like the most blessed person on this earth. Thank you for giving me another life, Jungkook. His feet stopped. Eyes stopped on you. For a moment, everything stopped for you both. Only his heartbeat can be heard. Thank you for growing our family. I'm pregnant, Jungkook. Again, didn't react, but the very next second, you found his arm tightened on your waist, and he spins you in the air. Thank you so much, Wayan. Camera lights start flashing on both of your bodies. No one knows what happened between you two, but they were so happy to see the view in front of them. Jungkook put you down, not on the floor but on his feet, and kiss your forehead. Are we really pregnant? You smile and hit his head slightly. Pabo, I am pregnant, not you. How can a boy get pregnant? You just said this, but somehow feel so good when he said we are pregnant instead of you are pregnant. You know everything related to you is special, but this is something. You are good at flipping the table. How can you able to gather yourself to give all the credits to me? I don't know. I just feel like it's still not enough to pay for your kindness. It's enough, John Jungkook. If you keep increasing your love for me like this, then one day I'm going to die. He laughs, making you smile. You are something. I am something with you. Without you, I am nothing. He smiled and pressed his lips on yours. Everyone clap for you both, even though they don't know what is happening. I'm going to be a father. He screamed with his lungs out. You try to stop him, but end up laughing with him.